Hey everybody, Terrified Beekeeper here. I'm getting ready to go in and uh, inspect my bees for the third time after I installed them three or four weeks ago. I've got it written down, but uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go in there and check them out and I'm going to look for the following things. I'm going to try to find the queen. If I can't find the queen, I'm going to find some eggs. And the first two times, or uh, three times I went out and inspected, um, I found the queen no problem. She's got a bright yellow piece, uh, little dab of paint on her back, and I can find her fairly easily. Um, I want to look and see if they've got honey. I want to see if they have some pollen. And I'm, I'm also looking for brood, uh, <clears throat> capped brood. The past couple times that I've gone in there, I really haven't seen what I like in terms of uh, what I like, what I would think, given my experience they need to have. I'm just not seeing a lot of brood. There's some, but it's not great. Last time I went in, last Friday, um, I, I just... There were these weird things. They look like uh, miniature queen cells poking out of the side on the, of, a, of a couple, a couple of uh, frames, and they were very strange, and I, I don't know what they were. So if they're there again, I'm going to try to check out and see what I can uh, figure out. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know what they were. I, I'm, I haven't seen anything like it anywhere. So uh, we'll see. But it was obviously part of the comb, so uh, or part of the, the hive. I mean, it wasn't like a, a foreign species went in there and built something. It was clearly something the bees built themselves. I don't know what it was. So. Um, Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, a quick note of explanation. The first time I inspected my bees, um, I was I was set this up, I recorded it. Uh, as a matter of fact, you may have seen my video where I lit the smoker. Um, and um, I was busy inspecting away and I got finished and the camera was off and I realized that due to me using the ancient technology of actual cassette tapes, I had run out of tape. So uh, it got me getting the outer cover off, and then that was it. The next time, I, I guess it was last Friday when I came out and inspected the bees, uh, the landlord was mowing the uh, property, and this camera, for whatever reason, really likes ambient noise a lot more than it likes to record voices. And I knew that if I tried to do it, uh, I would get 10 minutes of me bending over bees, you staring at the back of my jeans and my jacket, and uh, hearing nothing. So rather than do that, I just decided, you know what, uh, I was crunched for time anyway, so I went ahead and just said, forget it, while well, to get my, uh, I guess this is my third inspection of the bees. Still barehanded, still no stings. That's gonna probably change today. Anyway, I gotta do this because uh, it's wonderful. It's about 75 degrees right now. It's partly cloudy. Sun's coming out every once in a while. Tomorrow is supposed to rain heavily all day and a high of like 59 degrees. And obviously you can't get in the bees then. And it's supposed to be chilly the rest of this week. What I'm gonna be doing also is filling up the sugar, uh, the top feeder with more sugar water that I've been making. I'm hoping the bees are becoming less dependent on that and finding more sources out in nature but I don't know. Uh, I don't know where they're going. I'm, I've tried to watch them and I don't I don't see them around. I don't see them on our property. I don't know where they are. I mean I'm sure they're here but I don't know where else they're going. So I'm gonna do that as soon as I get my smoker lit. Uh, I'm having trouble with the smoker. I'm not I mean I'm getting it smoking well I just can't keep it going long enough and I'm thinking my ratio of say pine needles to uh, wood, sticks, kindling, that sort of thing is, is not right. So um, it's trial and error. And so far it's been fairly heavy on the error side of that, but that's okay. Uh, it's part of the learning process. So I'm going to get my smoker lit, I'll rearrange the camera, and I'll see you at the, uh, at the hive. So, terrified beekeeper, I'll be back.